Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Zillia. So, we're just about to leave the Kukar Ice Caverns. Hopefully we'll bump into the rest of our team. I want Mila and... Well, clearly I just want Mila back. Wouldn't mind getting the rest of them. Nah, I'm kidding, I want my full team back together. Let's see if it takes us out of the area I was expecting. I was right! Back up near the capital. Shit. Wow, it's... I thought that was the Aqua Dragons that did that move. It's Lease! Tipo, are you okay? Yep, I'm all okay. Awesome. Anyway, um, I want to fix something that I've realized. Hey, look, five left because we used it all. <sighs> all right, yeah, no, it's because I don't have. My bad. I have to wait until I've leveled up the item shop. But basically, I'll make it so they can use the orange gels once their TP is less than 40%. And use the orange gels once. Uh, the pineapple gels once their TP is less than 20%. That way, the orange gels will get used first and I can buy more cheap enough. Increases gold by a hundred. Hello. You know what? I actually see no reason not to use the gold ones just now. It's kind of a waste using it on these guys. They give literally nothing. And you can't get up that way. But there's a cave. It makes you wonder. Where's the best time to use the 100% gold food? I mean, bosses are the best, but you want to use experience, so you gain the experience from that. I guess it'll just be once I get to the 50% both. Kenbalar's castle. Jude. You're okay. 
And you would get them back. Ayla, I missed you. Am I glad to see you? I'm so glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Join yourself there, Tipo. Mila? Oh, do I know you? I've never seen you before. Huh? Why, I am your elder sister. Sister? I don't have a sister. What's going on, Muse? This may be our first time speaking true. Yet we are both spirits born into this world at nearly the same time. Well, you definitely are a spirit. That much I can believe. <laughs> no need to be so You came out of space. What could a spirit gain from impersonating your sister? You are Maxwell, after all. That's true, it wouldn't gain her anything. Why did you appear before Jude? <laughs> because you summoned me before him, or rather, your powerful feelings for him summoned me. Really? Could that even be possible? I don't know. I'll admit, I've been hearing a voice in my dreams. And they're here. Wingo? Hold that thought. So, the information was correct. Attention! Attention! I am Gillen. You have my most sincere apologies for forcibly occupying your city. Please understand that subjugation is not our goal. Thus, extreme measures were only necessary to prevent an apocalyptic war between two superpowers. You have my word that we at Exodus will do all in our power to preserve your safety and your livelihood. We desire the same thing you do. Eternal peace, Orisa Maxia. I despise that man, Gillant. He promotes peace, even as he uses Spyrex to hurt humans and spirit kind alike. We may have no choice but to eliminate him and his group. I agree. How will we do that? Those people have armored soldiers and flying ships and big cannons and... 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 Alvin, it's time you came clean. You should tell us everything you know. Alvin! I assume Gaius won't stand for this. He is inviting us in. Frankly, I'm surprised he even revealed himself to us. Maybe they're testing us? It's oh, yes trap, it is. is it? What are we waiting for? Let's go. What happened? I'm on the straight and narrow now. I promise. And why would we believe you this time? I have a score to settle with Gillen. Let me be the one to finish him off. If I betray you again, you have my permission to run me through with that sword of yours. So let me come with you. And if I refuse? Then I'll kill him on my own. Very well. Thanks. I appreciate it. We have to find out what Gaius is planning. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with these armaments. I'm all the stronger for the skill of their craftsmen. I don't know. You were pretty strong to begin with. Are you really Mila's sister? I am. Although it differs from the way you humans conceive of sisterhood. In what way? I couldn't say. I know little about the human version of the concept. But you brought it up! So, elementally, what kind of spirit are you? 
<laughs> oh my. What temerity to ask such a personal question. Wait, what? Alvin, you're committing sexual harassment! Wait, hold on. I didn't mean anything. Oh, okay then. Sheesh. Every bit the painter's sister is, but in a completely different way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Nope. No, there are matters. I just need to buy everything. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah. Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... <sighs> Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. <laughs> Camilla, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. Oh, Jude's in trouble. You've come. Shit. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. 
Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact. But for what purpose? That's it. The other world reactor plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the spirit fuel plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Campbellar. Oh yeah, right, because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Not ready to team up because we kicked your ass. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. You won't let me pass. Yes, there are two rooms on the second floor that I would love to use, but Wingle locked the door. Wander off again? 
Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel... Someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty night, kid. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. Where's Wingo? You're not gonna let me talk to him. I hate you. Well, do you know what? I'm going to call it there. No point in continuing the next bit when there's going to be a showdown.
make this video twice as long. Also, I will see if I can find Wingle and talk to him. Probably not going to be able to, but hey-ho. So, I will see you next time.